But the issues that we've all been talking about in, in, with great frankness are the issues we, we discussed in this meeting in a very open and frank dialogue. Uh, and we found that maybe we misunderstood the, the Turkish position, and maybe the, Turk, the, the Turkish position was mis uh, misunderstood the U.S. position. Uh, and he has pledged to, to work with the ambassador and others to make sure we have accurate information uh, and get accurate answers to all of the issues that we've all been discussing in relation not only to, to Iraq, uh, but other things as well. Uh, th this was a great example of one of the misunderstandings, I believe, that, that uh, we had uh, that I think we cleared up uh, tonight, and there will be some follow-up discussions with the ambassador uh, and the chairman to clarify it. We covered the process uh, uh, of the timing, and I have to tell you from, uh, from the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives uh, to those of us who vote on the House floor, uh, if the agreement holds as was presented, uh, and is accepted by Turkey, there will be no problem in passing that issue. Timing may still be up for discussion, but there should be no doubt uh, that once that commitment is made, it will happen uh, in the United States Congress. If I may just add one thought, it is very obvious to us that any understanding and agreement that ultimately takes place must be mutually beneficial to both parties at the same time.